Our third rust disease on the list is cedar apple rust. Like the other two rusts that we've discussed, the white pine blister rust and the fusiform rust, cedar apple rust also has two hosts and therefore would have two uh, potential signs and symptoms. The most common that we see are these little round balls that in the spring swell up and look like giant octopuses. Uh, these little tendrils are orange, they're dry now, so they're uh, kind of spidery looking. But they form on the, in this particular one, those spider things have, have broken off. But these are like giant, and they get huge, probably three to four times this size, and they'll have these orange tendrils coming out of them. And uh, here's one that's stuck on a plant. Uh, typically doesn't do any harm to the cedar. Uh, it's just kind of unsightly and, and people don't like to look at it. But what's going on is these are producing spores that in the spring go to the other host, the apple. And what happens is these spores get on the apple tree, the apple leaves, apple flowers, and apple fruit, and will produce these small little circles on the leaves, of course, where more spores are being produced. And they'll also produce on the apples, and there's more spores being produced. And what will happen is the apple tree may lose all its uh, leaves, and no one wants to eat the apples that are full of these spores. But what's happening, these spores are then being released and going back to the cedar tree. So it's a unique life cycle. It, the tree needs apples and cedars. Uh, on the cedar, we get these orange uh, galls that are formed with these orange tendrils, and they release the spores. They go to the apple tree, forms these little dots, and then the cycle just continues back and forth.